Okay, this is going to show you how much of a nerd I am. Last night we had a thunderstorm, and uh, a loud thundercrack came, and uh, it was pretty close to my house. And I woke up, and the first thing that came to my mind was, man, Thor is really kicking someone's butt right now. Hey guys, John Jim here. Uh, it's time to do this week's comic book reviews, so uh, I got some other stuff to mention. So we're gonna kind of hurry up and do this little review, review a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first book uh, up this week that I got was uh, Anita Blake, The Laughing Corpse, uh, number one. And uh, this is a ne Necromancer, by the way. Necromancer. Necromancer. Uh, this is done uh, done by Laurel K. Ha Hamilton and Jessica Ruffner. And the art is done by uh, Ron Lim. Um, this is just uh, preceding from the last series, where uh, when we last left off Anita, she was being attacked by zombies. Um, she pretty much finishes them, finishes them off. Um, and uh, the other, um, she, she's kind of, tra kind of traumatized through the, through the whole thing. And she goes into a little backstory of why she has so many stuffed penguins and stuff. And uh, she meets up with some other other people who who she's associated with, and uh, another um, uh, she's trying to find out who what the, this the killer zombie is from. She has an idea who it was, who it is, but she can't pin it down on her yet. Um, also, she tries to get abducted in this one. She uh, fights back though, and um, it is pretty cool. It's a pretty good book, um, but. <coughs> Like the taxes right there, mature content, very mature content, but good book. Next up is um, Ultimate Hulk Wolverine vs. Hulk number four, and this is done by uh, Damon Lindell and Neil Francis Yu, um, who also did uh, who's done some past work in other Marvel books. He's a pretty good artist. I like I like his work. Um, so, last book we found out uh, there's a She-Hulk, but we don't we don't know who it is. This book explains who it is. Um, <coughs> we first start off by seeing Jennifer Jennifer Walt Walters, the six one six She-Hulk, and, and um, it kind of goes back in time a little bit where um, uh, uh, Nick Fury was explaining to Wolverine, you know, I want you to find the Hulk and go kill him. Uh, they're talking behind the scenes, you know, you know whether what you know talking about the super soldier serum and and, and um, Jennifer and Betty Ross are talking to each other, you know, kind of bantering back and forth, you know, about killing, about the uh, Hulk being killed. Um, so uh, Betty Ross is, is she's pretty sneaky and stuff like that. She she's been as we can see been manipulating people. Um, Kind of the whole time, you know, through this whole book, <coughs> we find out at the end who the She-Hulk is, and it's not Jennifer Walters; it's Betty Ross. It's Betty, Betty Ross in in, in this in the Ultimate uh, Universe is She-Hulk. So, but fortunately, Hulk's a little heartbroken, but that sets him off. So, we're gonna see She-Hulk versus Hulk, or Betty versus Bruce in the next issue, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Pretty cool stuff. Ultimate Hulk vs. Wolverine. Uh, next book is a really, really good book. Uh, didn't get Book of the Week, but it's still top-notch. Green Lantern 39. Uh, where we last left off, um, Hal Jordan um, was infused, has both the Blue Lantern Ring and the Green Lantern Ring. Um, he just fought off the control of the Red Lantern Ring. And now, um, uh, now ha has been resurfaced. Now is the the orange lanterns. Um, so uh, now we got red, we got red, blue, red, blue, yellow, green, orange, and pink. So far, and um, if I'm leaving, if I'm leaving any uh, colors out, leave the com leave your. Uh, Leave what I left out in the comments below. Um, and this is d done by uh, uh, Jeff Johns and uh, Philip Tan and Jonathan 
uh, Gipenian, I guess I could say that that's who it is, that's who did the art. Um, excellently done, excellently done. And it looks like uh, the Green Lanterns changed another law, <coughs> re rewrote the Book of Oa. There's a new law saying they're now going to go into a jurisdiction where they weren't supposed to go, or where Green Lanterns had no jurisdiction, and now they do have jurisdiction there. So um, there's a lot of rewriting in the in the Book of Oa, and it's also a prelude to The Blackest Night, as you can see up on the top little banner there. So all, all this stuff is going to be to The Blackest Night, which I can't wait for. So it's going to be it's going to be good stuff. And this is a Agent Orange. That's an Agent Orange uh, tie-in. Or, or, um, series, I guess you could say. Okay, uh, time for some awards this week. Uh, Beatdown of the Week goes to Marvel Zombies 4. Yes, I got one before. Um, this is done by, uh, Fred Van Linty and Kev Walker. Um, when we last left, left Marvel Zombies, uh, in the last Marvel Zombies 3, the end of Marvel Zombies 3, um, a couple of zombies got loose into armor, um, started devouring some people in, in armor. It, it They got through a, a portal and now are in an alternate universe. So uh, Morbius is set that's in the band of, of monsters, uh, as, he, as he likes to put it, and uh, he's reformed the, the Midnight Suns. So um, these uh, monster group are sitting out to fight other monsters, which is a pretty cool idea. Um, we have a Wolf by Night, um, Morbius of course, um, we see a, a Zombie Deadpool again, which is awesome, and uh, his, his stuff is always cool. Um, but we also see an another character, another villain, in this one at the end, uh, who's playing a big role in the 616 universe, the main universe, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, what, what's going to go on here, and um, how this plays out. So, um, so yeah, I'm, it was okay, I guess. But uh, it does get beat down the lead because uh, Wolf by Night does do some a lot of damage in this one, which is cool. So, um, so does Morbius. Morbius kicks some butt in this too. So, Marvel Zombies number four.